Hello my artsy friend. I'm so glad that you are joining me today. We're going to learn so much in this lesson as we relax and paint this cute elephant with its baby. Before we begin, I want you to choose your favorite color and you can use that in your background. Mine is purple and that's why I chose this as my background. But I have done this painting before. I actually painted this with my six-year-old son. He got to choose his favorite color for his background. Don't worry about choosing the right color. In the final step, we can lighten or darken your favorite color so it'll make the elephant stand out. If you want to match my colors exactly, you can find the color mixes in the art lesson plan. Once you have everything ready, we can begin. The first step is painting the background with your one inch wash brush. I use purple because that's my favorite color. You can use whatever color you want. Then you just paint the background. You can make the background solid or have playful brush strokes. You can also make different areas slightly darker or lighter. Be creative in this step. When your background is the way that you want it, then all you need to do is dry it. You can use a blow dryer if that helps you. And then we can go on to the next step. In this step, we're going to sketch the elephants. You can use the traceable in the lesson plan or the reference photo that goes along with this lesson. And you're gonna trace it onto your canvas using a watercolor pencil. You can also use transfer paper or if you have an acrylic fine tip pen to create the lines. I used my watercolor pencil to sketch my elephant and now I'm going to use my detail brush and I'm going to go over some of the lines with some white and also with some of the dark purple. Where I want the highlights I will use the white and where I want the shadow areas I'll use the dark purple. So you can use the reference photo to help you know which colors that I use. This is a very playful painting so nothing needs to be perfect in this but if you find that you like to lean towards perfection, you want things to be a little bit cleaner, that's okay too. You can go ahead and paint this according to your own personality. The traceable and the reference photos are just there to help you when you need them and whenever you feel like you want to be creative and do things a little bit different, I encourage you to do so. I'm also going to add in a few details. So I'm going to just put in where the tusk is and then where the eye is of the baby elephant. I'm also going to add where the ear begins, so I'm going to just make this little line right here. In this step, we're going to start adding the black areas. With my detail brush, I'm going to paint the eye area. On the left side of the face, I go along the white line and then I come in. And I just make a tiny little circle and make a bump as I come down with a line downwards towards the tusks. Now on the right side, I'll start with the eye, just a little circle motion, and then I will grab some more paint on my brush, add in the line going down towards the tusks, and then on the top of the eye, I'm just going to make it come in just a little bit more, and the line doesn't connect with the eye, that just gives it some variety. I'm going to come over here to the left ear, I'm going to make a shape here that kind of looks like a mountain, then I take that color and I bring it down, Okay, so on the right side, I'm gonna make the same shape or at least similar. You don't wanna make them symmetrical, so I'm just gonna round it out just a little bit and then pull that color down. This is the shadow area of the ear. So I'm gonna take that color alongside the face on the right side, go down alongside the tusk as well, grab some more black, and then I'm gonna take that color over to the right side of the ear and come all the way to the edge of the ear, creating a gap between two lines, and that is the folds in the ear. I grab my small flat brush, and now I'm going to turn it and use the line to create some creases next to the edge of the bottom of the right side of the ear. Now I wanna create some creases on the left side of the ear. Just add a little bit of that color right here on the forehead on the left, right side and in the center here. So now I'm just going to go along the edges where that white line on the tusk area is and that just creates some shadow area and now I'm going to go in between creating some lines going across on the trunk of the elephant. Now the thing is is this doesn't need to be perfect at all. The more scruffy it looks the better in my opinion. I'm going to add that black color on the inner part of the legs right where the trunk is and then I'm gonna do that same thing on the left side here. In this step, we're gonna paint the blue areas. 
if you have a blue background, you can also use this light blue for this step. So I'm going to add this color to the top left of the ear and then on the top of the head, then a little bit on the right side of the ear. So I'm just adding just a little bit of that color throughout the ear in just a few spots. Okay, so now I'm gonna add that color to the right side of the legs. So now I'm gonna create the straight side on the left side of the left leg and then pull it in to create an inconsistent line. Let's put that color on the left side of the baby. So on the right side of the leg and then on the belly. And then just a little bit right there along the edge of the ear and the top of the body. Kind of fill in the trunk mostly with this color. And then, So I'm going to add a little bit more blue to my big elephant along the eye. I'm going around the shadow areas. And you can leave some of your purple or your background color if you wish. This actually looks good when you do that. But this color is actually the main color of your elephant. And then I'm getting rid of some of the purple that's in the top part of the trunk and the middle part of the trunk. So I move down to my round brush, but I'm going to line the left side just to create a broken up line. And you can see how I did this in the reference photo. So now we're going to paint in the tan areas in this step. I'm going to use my small flat brush. Notice I have a darker tan and a lighter tan. So I'm just going to go around the colors that I've already put down on the elephant ears and I'm going to focus mainly on the big part of the ears. Now I'm going to focus on the right ear. So I'm going to add some of the tan where the purple is on the right top part of the ear. Go around the colors that I've already put down. You can even add a little bit of the tan on top of the color. So maybe I have a little bit too much of the blue. I can just add some of the tan over the top. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of the tan color in the corner of the ear just to make it a little bit more pokey. And I have the lighter tan on my brush. So if you don't have a lighter tan color, just go ahead and mix some white with the tan that you have. And this is going to create some highlighted areas. So I made some lines there next to the shadowed line. I'm going to put some of this tan on the nose. Add a little bit of the tan in some of the creases going down the nose. I put it on the right side of the trunk. Now I want to add some of the tan to the trunk of the baby elephant and to the ear, just covering the purple just a little bit. I don't have to cover all of the purple. And then I'm going to add some to the upper part of the legs of the mama elephant right there. And then just a few places on the middle part of the legs. Again, you don't have to cover all of the purple, but if you do, it's all right. And with what's left on my brush, I'm just gonna add a little bit of tan to the face just next to the eyes here. In this step, I'm gonna add some details with my dark purple and my white. I'll start with my half inch brush and the dark purple, and I'm gonna add some of the purple onto the forehead here on both sides of the face above the eyes. Then I'll add some vertical lines in between the eyes. And with just a little paint on my brush, I'll just add a little bit of the purple right above the eye. Adding little details like this is going to help make this elephant look a little more realistic. So I'm gonna add some purple just right underneath the darkest part of the ears right here. And I'll just add a little bit more on the head here, just a couple little scuffs just to make this skin look nice and wrinkly and not perfect. So now I'm gonna put some of the white on my brush and add the highlight areas. So I'm gonna go around the head at the very top of the head and then on this ear, the very edge of the right ear. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the left side of the ear, just in between some of the ear folds. So right along the dark purple and then right here on the top of the left ear, being very loose with my brush strokes, put a little bit of white on the skin part of the tusks. So now I'm grabbing my round brush and I'm gonna add white to my round brush. And I'm going to go in between some of these folds in the trunk of the elephant. I'm going to add some vertical lines right here, right in between the tusks. And those are just some wrinkles right there. And I want to get it to stand out just a little bit more, so I'll add a little bit more of the white in between. The perfect placement of this is not necessary. It's just important to get some of the white lines on your trunk. 
Now for this step, we're going to paint the yellow areas. I have my round brush and I'm just going to add a little bit of the yellow on the right side of this trunk. And we want to follow that right side so it really, really stands out. You can see how it pulls it forward and you can skip parts of your trunk. You don't have to put it on all of it. So I'm going to add this to the middle part of the legs. Now let's add some to the baby's ear and then right here next to the eye, right here along the neck on the left side of the baby elephant all the way down its leg. And then just to add a little bit on the other side of that leg and then on the back and the bum and then at the top part of the trunk. And so this is a great time to get some of the color and put it back in if you feel like it needs to be softened. It also helped me break up some of those really strong shapes that were made with my brush strokes and the yellow. Once you're happy with that color, we can move on to the next color, which is our orange. So we're gonna add this color in just a few areas. So right on the skin part of the tusks. So I'm going to add it to the eye of my baby elephant. I'm just gonna use the very corner of my brush, just to make a dot where the eye is. I'm gonna add it right to a couple places on the trunk. Now we're on to the final step, and this is my favorite step. This is where we add the final details, and this is based on our personal preferences. So anything that is bothering you about your painting, we're gonna change it in this step. So I want you to look at your elephant painting, and I want you to think about if the elephant is very close to the same colors as your background. Now, if you want your painting to be kind of subtle and not stand out as much, then you can keep those colors very similar. But if you want your painting to pop or stand out more, you want your elephant to really be bold, then what you wanna do is adjust the color of your background. So you can make your color darker if your elephant is lighter colors, or you can make your background lighter if your elephant is darker colors. Now, I don't want my elephant to be too bold, actually. That's my preference. So I'm just gonna adjust some areas of my painting to make it darker and some areas I want to keep lighter. Now I'm going to make a gray color with my light blue. So I'm gonna add some of the dark black color with my light blue and get this gray tone. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add this gray tone to make the other colors stand out more and to also give more dimension to my elephant. So I'm just gonna go over just a few areas where I feel like the blue's a little bit too bright and the transition between the dark purple and the light blue need to have something in between those two colors. It's all about your preferences and I can't tell you what those are because it's different for everybody. If you struggle with painting along or you don't know how to finish your painting, this is what my art lessons are for. They're gonna help you discover your style and also learn how to paint whatever it is you want. You can get the art lessons on my website, createflart.com, or you can become a CreateFlart member where you get weekly art lessons, the full tutorials, and the reference photos to help you. We have a lot of fun, and if you're ready to become a better artist, I hope that you join us. So let me know in the comments what you learned from this lesson, and if you have any questions, you can put them there as well. Thank you so much for your support and for painting along with me today. I hope you had lots of fun and you had a great time relaxing. I would love to see your finished painting. You can share it with me in our Facebook group if you are a Grateful Art member, or you can put it on Instagram and tag at Grateful Art and I will be able to see it. I hope you feel proud that you accomplished this painting today and I am excited to share more with you and I'll see you in my next tutorial.